Well, friends, how are you? I hope you are doing a very fine. So, we have started the lesson Footprint without feet. And we have uh, seen half part of the lesson. Now we are going to uh, the second part of the lesson. So, already what we have seen, we have seen the uh, information about the NG wells, so, uh, how he is uh, the great writer and you know uh, his all around race. Then we have seen uh, from the beginning of the chapter that uh, how uh, science can prove. Uh, when or others. How many decisions are there for science? When something is invented which is uh, uh, not that no, uh, awkward or we can say uh, unprecedented there. And then we have seen one character that is scientist that is really and how he was, he was a very knowledge person and he was not following any law, he doesn't care about any law. And uh, what he does then he made uh, some chemical drug and he followed that and he became invisible and then he started uh, looting or he can grow many person and uh, he was doing all such a ugly business in the human society. So till we have seen that uh, how uh, he looted one of the shopkeeper and then he has entered uh, uh, in one of the theater and he has taken all the material which he wanted, the breaking news, the discourse, everything he has taken and he uh, wanted to uh, go away from the people so that people will not understand him. And he used to go in one of the store and he used to uh, uh, look at the store. Everything he was doing was very ill business uh, as per the human uh, society. So you see that how uh, he was doing that and then he has, uh, in the last uh, moment we have seen that he has looted, he has uh, wrote one of the shopkeeper without knowing. Now we got to get away from the government and he uh, took a train to the village of Kiki. Okay, now he knows very well, he knows very well that now uh, if I will be here in the crowded city, maybe I will be there, I will be taken part. And I have to pay all the consequences which will be there in front of me. Then he wanted to go in one of the village, that the name of the village was Kiki. And he took that is why he took the train to the EP where he took two rooms at the local inn. You know that he was uh, not getting any room to live. And already we have, um, we have known that uh, uh, once uh, one of the landlord wanted to eject him from his house, then what he did, what he did, he uh, just set fire to the house. So, like that person he was, that is why nobody was ready to give him any room or any shelter. So, he went to the EP village and he has no two rooms. The other stranger at the inn to meet her was in any case, unusual. You know that one of the strangers has come to our inn. Uh, so it was an unusual event for the uh, land, that particular uh, innkeeper. A stranger of which one common appearance said all the uh, term bagging. He has come not normal, he was a normal person that time. He has uh, put all the bandage to grow his own. Face, everything he was doing. And that is why everybody was talking about him when the stranger has come in that key and he was uh, looking so different. His appearance was different. That, was, uh, that is why that, that thing was the top of the village that time. But this, uh, this all uh, the landlord wife made every effort to be friendly. She wanted to know that suppose you want to talk about the um, stranger or you want to uh, understand him, then we try to be very friendly with him. And like that landlord wife. Just tried that, but you can say she tried a lot, but we had no desire to talk and told her my reasons for coming to EP is that desire for solitude. And he has said, uh, the discovery he has answered her that why I have come here, I want to live in a solitude, I want to live in a lonely place. That is why I have come here. So please don't disturb me, don't come and don't ask me. Don't be so friendly with me. Like that he has. Uh, told to Mrs. Fox. I do not wish to be disturbed in my work, beside an accident has affected my face. And he has cleared that other because it was the thing of the village that uh, how the person is and he has totally bandaged his face. So he said that I had a uh, very, um, very bad accident and that is why uh, my whole mouth, my whole face is damaged. So I put the so no other thing I will talk to you like that. He had conveyed to his reaction. That is why that her grace was an uh, eccentric 
in this strange family and in view of the fact that he had paid her in advance. And suppose somebody got the money, then okay fine, we are just talking, we are living for the money, we are working for the money. As he had got the money, that is the no matter, only he had paid money in advance. Basically what we do after, um, when we try to check out any hotel room or any in room, then uh, we give the back end. But he had paid in advance, so there was no matter about that. This is how I was uh, prepared to excuse his strange habit and he did not think well. That is why he okay for him. Uh, so he thought I okay, in this person is completely different. So if I will say something, nothing will happen. So he was prepared totally because of his uh, previous behavior. But the stolen money did not last long. Now he was alone in the room, he has paid and okay, fine, no problem, everything was okay. But how many uh, days he is spent? How much money he has spent? Two days. And afterwards, uh, stolen money had been finished by him. Now, and whether he gave him or had to admit that he had no more ready cash. Now he was living in uh, that inn, he had two, two rooms, and he had to cash right now. He pretended how well that he was expecting uh, a check to arrive at any moment. And he said that, okay, don't worry about your money uh, because my check is going to come. Somebody is going to give me a check. That is why uh, it will come and I will uh, hand over to you or uh, I will hand over to your um, what was money that we showed me after all the previous episode of Awkward. Something has happened to Awkward. Very early in the morning, a calligraphy man and his wife. He the church, finished the church. His wife went away and went all this in the study. They have heard, uh, the priest and uh, his wife have heard certain voice in the study room. Weeping down there, they uh, heard the cheek of money being taken from the, uh, the priestess. Without making any noise, with the copper metal rod crashed uh, firmly in his uh, hand, the priest flung upon the lower and he said, Surrender! So they have heard certain noise, so that they went there very you know, sleepily. And as soon as they, they had taken one metal rod also, which I think uh, he had uh, it very firmly. And they went in there and he and the, when they opened the door, they, they started the lock. Then in his amazement, he realized that the room appeared to be empty. Because you know that who was there? Really more than because he was totally transparent, nobody can understand, and he was not hiding his clothes on his body. And that is why he was invisible. When they went there, they have um, surely heard the noise that somebody is looting, but not necessarily money from the drawer or the table. But they, as soon as they went to that particular room, they found nothing there. They were amazed with that. He and his wife looked under the bed and behind the board on the even uh, of the ceiling. There wasn't a sign of anybody, yet the days had been open and the house you made money was missing. Uh, the result was there, they have been robbed, they have been robbed, but nobody they found there he was missing. Extraordinary up there. Because nothing, no one was there but money is missing, I can't, I couldn't see when somebody is going out, nobody was there everywhere. So please, extraordinary up there, it was not. Uh, it was very unprecedented thing, never known before like that. As the behavior of him, this was coming a little later that morning. The landlord and his wife were uh, very early and were surprised to see the scientist go to open wife. And you know that uh, before we went beyond the student, this small, uh, when he went there, he asked, he was a bit friendly with him, but he said that I want to live in so he told him, he said, I want to. He was alone, alone, and he used to shut the door again and again. But that day, it was quite different thing because over the, that particular door where he was sleeping was open, wide open. Usually it was shut and locked, and he was uh, curious if anyone entered his room, the opportunity seemed to good to be missed. So it was very great upon him to find out, to investigate the room, what exactly the scientist is working, that he doing there. So he wanted to, he wanted to go inside. Uh, that is why I say he doesn't want to lose the mm. chance. <coughs> so he wanted to, he did it to investigate the bedrooms, the cold, so on. 
showing that the scientists must have been uh, for some time and strangely still the clothes and the bandages and he always wore very well about the room and whatever he, he used to be here, uh, it was lying uh, around the room, or in the room. All of a sudden this is all about us need close to her ear. Something big, uh, he has, uh, she has heard a moment like uh, the hand of the bed post lift up and dash itself into her face. And suddenly she has seen that one hand lift up and dash on her face. Then the bedroom uh, chair become alive, springing into the air, a charge straight at her. Nobody was there was this war. Griffin was lifting and throwing at her. So she thought that it become alive and it is coming at me. And it was come very rapidly towards it has uh, come to her. Swimming large like her legs foremost as she had and her husband turned away, take a very extraordinary chair, push them both out of the room and they appeared to slam and lock the door after them. And as soon as they, they have come out and just recently they have, uh, immediately they have, with that Griffin has shut the door and uh, because they were unknown about that, that Griffin is a transparent man and uh, he is an invisible man and that is why they couldn't see him. They thought that he went up somewhere and nobody is there so if they wanted to go and they wanted to investigate that room but he was there, he was naked. That is why they couldn't see because when he was naked, nobody can see him because he is invisible without clothes. My poor mother used to sit in that chair, the same moment, uh, to think it. Okay, one second, sir. This is all almost went down the stairs in districts. Uh, she was uh, convinced that the room was haunted by spirit. And when she saw uh, so the all the appearing, appearing, appear, then uh, she thought that it is that my room is haunted by the spirit. Right? And because it was not uh, logically uh, thinking, uh, thinking that uh, this can be happening to you. Nothing. This can be, you know, it is an extraordinary happening over there. And that is why she thought that my room is uh, haunted by spirit. And that is why she was thinking about the furniture now, the furniture had broken down because it was thrown by the griffin. Uh, my poor mother used to sit in, in a chair, she knew. Uh, to think it uh, should rise up against the house. The feeling of, among the uh, neighbors was that the devil was for the witch crowd. So at least the devil was not together. Uh, but this was uh, all not. When new the burglary at the cleaning man's home became known, the space scientist was strongly suspected of having had a family. And then uh, that was a different affair of what exactly happened, and they thought that it is a uh, uh, the room was totally haunted by the spirit. But another that uh, the fish house was looted, it was low. That is why everybody was thinking that his hand, his griffin's hand, uh, hand was here in that particular robbery and here also. Maybe. That is why they have a certain suspect about that griffin, about that um, scientist. The strange scientist was strongly suspected. Uh, of having had an, uh, had had a time in it. Suspicion grew even stronger when they suddenly, uh, they suddenly produced some ready cash, though he had admitted not long before that he had no money. And uh, suddenly he had come with the money. And before that he said that I don't have money. So that is why the, the suspicion or suspect was become, the suspect, uh, suspect become so stronger that the person who had the money earlier now is giving money it means he has no something. So everybody was thinking that the village constable was greatly sent for investigation and all that. And everybody was talking about that, that particular person, uh, that stranger person was there in that inn. And when he had come that time only that everything is happening very unusually. And that is why one constable has sent for the Richmond invitation. Instead of waiting for the constable, this all went to scientists who had somehow mysteriously appeared from his empty bedroom. And now, when they went there, that time nobody was there, just uh, all the chairs were you know, from towards uh, them. But now, when, they, when she went there, mysteriously, uh, nobody can understand that how that scientist had gone inside because they were there. 
So he asked her, okay, I want to know uh, what you have been doing to my chair after I see the money. And I want to know how it is you came out of an empty room and how to enter the room. How you came out from the empty room, I was there, I can see you. And how you entered in the locked room. That's the odd thing she has asked because she has also got a uh, suspicion about him. Chinese was always strict tempered. Now he become curious. We don't understand who or what I am. He shouted very well, I shall show you. And then you know that already we have known about his character, about his temper, about his nature, and about his behavior. So he, he said that you don't, you don't know about me, who, what I am. He shouted very well, I shall show you, I will show you that. Suddenly the three of bandages, discourse, spectacles, and even that um, bogus moves. Okay. It took him only a minute to do this. The horrible people in the bar found themselves staring at the headless man. And he was headless because nothing was there. Okay, because why his head was looking? Because he has put something there, bandage, everything, everything that was there. They were thinking that he had head. Whole body was covered with the clothes. So now all things have been thrown away, that is why he looks a headless man. Mr. Jaffa, the comfortable, now arrived at and was quite surprised to find that he had to arrange the man down the head. Now he had come, Jaffa was the constable who, uh, who was sent for the investigation. He had come and he has seen, I have to arrest the person who doesn't have head. If magistrate warrant, warrant ordered a person arrest, then that person had to be arrested. We all know. He said, I got the warrant and um, I have to arrest the person. It may be with head or without head, I have to do my duty. Then followed a remarkable scene as the policeman tried to take hold of a man who was becoming more and more invisible as he threw off the garment of another man. He just uh, approached towards that griffin and he wanted to hold him. but. He has just thrown the all clothes, and that is why it was very difficult for him to catch him because he was looking, he was in, he becoming invisible every now and then. He could not see at all afterwards at the end. Some people tried to help him but found themselves hit by clues uh, that seemed to come from anywhere. Okay. No one. And uh, they wanted to uh, catch him but uh, he became invisible. So, uh, People were getting all the clothes by the griffin and they were astonished where from I'm getting the clothes. In the end, Dabu was not unconscious as he made a last attempt to hold on the unseen scientist and uh, he had given a big blow to uh, Jafar, Mr. Jafar comfortable and uh, he became unconscious. There were uh, nervous excited cries of, of old holding, but this was easier. Said that the that griffin had shaken uh, himself free and no one knew where to lay hands on him. And then at last, what happened? Uh, griffin was set uh, free because nobody had, nobody could uh, catch him there. Okay, because he was he became so invisible when he has come out all his clothes away. He became naked and you know that he was uh, he has drunk uh, one of the chemicals and that is why I heard and that is why he is invisible. And now uh, nobody can catch him because nobody can see him. That is what uh, happened. And that is why he again is set free. And he, maybe he had gone away from that village. So, what we have learned? Science. So, science has moon also. Because it has, has the moon also and has the male also. So, it's up to us how we use it, how we mm, apply it in our daily life. Right. We have seen uh, many uh, destruction because of the science, and we have seen many. Uh, very patient have got uh, life. Uh, we have seen uh, development because of the development. Uh, everything got positive also. So here, maybe uh, the HGL is wanted to uh, convey here that we have to use uh, the invention of the science very easily. It should become the advantages for all of us. We should not use uh, science for the ill effect on, on the people. So that's what I want to convey from this lesson. So this is the uh, end of the lesson. I think that you have understood the lesson. It was very uh, mysterious story and uh, that is why you have
enjoy it by free. So now we have to write down the proof for calculation, go to the second part and try to understand.